Okay, before you put a strainer post in the ground, you just sight down it, and if it's got a if it's banana shape, you put the concave part in so it's going to line up with the breastplate and put the breastplate in. That stops it twisting round on the breastplate if you put it in that way. Drop it in without putting any dirt in. And get it so it's sitting okay. And then we put this kick plate down the back. Cut the kick plate so it's just as wide as the spade is. So it goes down the hole easily without hitting on the sides. And it's important to have the flat bearing surface at the back. Round side to the post. You try and dig your hole so it matches the materials you're going to use. And make sure it's right down the bottom. Everyone. Okay, we're ready to put the breastplate in. When you're putting it in, you need to make sure it's going to be right angle here each side of the wire, so it's square. And to do that, if you sit your spirit level down facing to the strainer at the other end, and then just check there's a right angle in there and that's sitting in the right spot. Then without moving it, just sit your foot on it and mark it out with the corner of the spade. This corner cuts through the ground easily. Go about 50 past each end. And once you've got it marked out, you can remove the block and dig out. It needs to go in a minimum of 50 below the surface or until you get good holding. If you haven't rammed the hole up properly, a lot of the dirt can just go straight down the hole. So you don't need to fill it in too much after you put the kick plate in. Once you've got the depth, you need to just face up along the front so it's all on the same plane. Don't need to dig all the dirt out. The round side's going facing the post as long as the flat side goes right down. Sit that and you just hit it in the centre or just off the centre. If you hit it on the ends, it flicks the other end up, so it's important just to whack it down about the centre so it's good firm fit.